Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for December 18th to the 19th of 2021. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorns. What do my Capricorns need to know for the next 48 hours, Spirit, for Capricorn for December 18th to the 19th of 2021? <laughs> All right, we have Elf. I almost said Chief. We have Elf, Mischief. We have Mole, Superstition. Black Hound, Foreboding. And Lizard, Survival. Okay, so someone could be a Chief or a Chef or something like that. And then we got Mole, Undercover. Someone listening. Someone's bug. Someone's listening. Okay. You know, elf mischief and mold. Someone be careful of what you say on the phone or what you gossip about because there's someone listening. Like they act like they left the room or they're not in the house, but they listening. It's like you have a whole conversation about somebody and then you hear the door close when they're supposed to have been left like an hour ago. Like, yeah, someone's someone's eavesdropping for Capricorn. Next 48 hours for Capricorn. This is a warning. If you got something to say about somebody, don't say it out loud. Someone's listening for December 18th to 19th of 2021 for Capricorn. Yes. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to act like they're about to leave, but they get quiet. You get on the phone. And you're like, yeah, girl, they just left. They ain't this. They ain't that. And then right after you're done talking shit about them, you hear the door close. They heard everything. Be careful. We have the Empress, Taurus, and Libra, or this could be happening to you. You could overhear something. I'm going to put watch your mouth. Even though it might not be for you, though, maybe for somebody else. I'm just saying what I see. And watch your mouth. They're listening. Yeah, someone's definitely listening to you while you talk shit, or some, or you're listening to someone while they talk shit. Again, the Empress is Taurus and Libra. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's there's someone who's fake. They smile in your face. They're a snake. They're manipulative. They're confusing, confusing and illusions. Ten of Pentacles. So there's a higher up matriarch of the family, CEO, boss, mother, whoever. The world card. Yep. Um, they try to control you with money or inheritance. Over on she's the five of pentacles, but you're about to leave them high and dry. You don't care. At first, they were trying to control you with promises of money or control the money or control you with money, whatever, or promises of money. It's an illusion. It's a manipulation tactic. You're like, you're breaking it off. You don't care no more whether or not they give you money or not. Clarify this for Capricorn. One more shuffle. Clarify this for Capricorn. These messages is juicy tonight. Clarifying the Empress is the devil, Capricorn. Yeah, I knew it. This Empress, whether it be a Taurus, Libra, I almost said Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> this person is manipulative as fuck. They know what they're doing. It's right underneath the mischief too. With the Empress and the devil, this person is trying, they're manipulative and controlling on purpose. And then right beside the Seven of Cups. Five of Cups, this person uses emotional manipulation with a mixture of finances as well to control you. Clarifying the Seven of Cups is the Page of Wands. Yep. <laughs> Ten of Wands. This person, yeah. Oh, I don't like them. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is a Strength card, Leo. Three of Pentacles. There's a Leo here to help you go with the Leo. Go with the Leo. Or it could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But um, there's someone, you have an idea, a dream, a goal you want to pursue. This person's going to emotionally manipulate you. And I feel like it's abuse as well to keep you with them, to keep you, to drain you and stop you. It's like they won't directly say things, but they'll like strain on your emotions and guilt you into like, they're like, oh, I wish you would do this. It's like, okay. 
fine. If that's what you want to do, uh, I wish I had someone to help me, but you're busy. It's like they do shit like that. Ugh. <laughs> Clarifying the world cards of three cups. <laughs> Nine of wands. Overall energy is the page of swords. You see right through the bullshit. You're at the point where I don't care if it's the five of pentacles. I'm gone. Four swords. Yep. You're not responding to it. You're covering your ears. Four swords. You're not listening to it. Hear none. See none. Say none. You're done. You're withdrawn. You're not reacting. Because you you know what this person does. This person is a codependent, manipulative, narcissist. This person is a narcissistic. And I feel like it's a mother. It's a toxic mom. Yep. Right behind the page of swords and seven of swords. You've peeped them. You know what they're doing. And then right behind that's the king of wands. This is, it's a fire sign involved. And Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like it's a masculine. Because on underneath both of these, it's the king of, um, king of wands is here. Yep, here too. <laughs> There's a king of wands. Because I feel like this is just an example, but it could be different for everyone. I feel like there's a mother figure here. Right? She's emotionally manipulative and abusive. She manipulates people by not directly saying anything, but making people feel bad. And she's like a heavy burden on people because she cries and whines like, oh, I wish somebody would do this. She like strains on your emotions where you feel guilty and forced to do something that you don't want to do. But instead of asking you directly, she just strains and strains and whines. And then there's a um, compliant fire sign, Aries Hill Sagittarius, who sits back and doesn't say nothing and allows the bullshit. They see what's happening, but they never address it. So it's like a codependent, narcissistic, um, empathic relationship. It's like someone who's a pushover, a bystander, while the other person's like nasty and needy. I see you going with the Leo, though. Because I feel like there may be a divorce or separation between the Empress and the King of Wands. And you end up going to live with the King of Wands and you get along better with the King of Wands. The fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, you you work better with the fire sign. So I see you going towards them. Or you may cut off both of them. For some of you, you cut off both of them. But for others, I see you working with the fire sign. But cutting off the, the toxic mom does not have to be a mom. It's just an example with the empress. But I feel like there's a higher up female. Someone who's a, a, a not a female. It doesn't have to be a female. But there is an empress who's like this is a feminine energy someone who uses emotional manipulation tactics guilt they use guilt trips you're cutting that off <laughs> you see right through them you know what they're doing i mean come on the empress clarified by the devil that's not real divine feminine she's this person is toxic as fuck all right i'm gonna leave that there <laughs> If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Ugh. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. Oh, not me dropping the ring. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste. <laughs>